the highest good for everyone involved in the situation. And we have Hyena. This one's being a pain in the butt to find. Humor, wit, and sarcasm. The hyena personality is a jokester and a crowd pleaser, but below the surface there are unfulfilled dreams to be realized. When the hyena card appears, it is time to reflect on your reliance on sarcasm and humor to express your truth. Are you using jokes and to hide old resentments in relationships or to mask things that you feel uncomfortable discussing what would happen if you took your goals seriously when in balance charming witty and fun to be around when out of balance scrappy petty and suspicious to bring into balance sobriety so really you're somebody who's very able to communicate well <laughs> i said that weird but you're somebody who communicates very well and so there's a need though to change some sort of passive aggressive style when it comes to talking about your emotions or your wants and your desires so that you can really express the truth of what you're wanting and desiring and also because sometimes when we're joking and making those comments like that it can really be very cutting and hurt very deeply we have the four of pentacles the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, the Three of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. And so, yeah, you might have been the person who is very in and out and hot and cold, not sure of what they want or how to go about getting it. Um, there's a need to release control, to not hold on so tightly to what you're wanting, to realize that you have everything you need within yourself and stop working so hard towards other people's goals or what other people want for you or because you feel like you wouldn't be accepted if you truly placed your commitment where you really want it. There may be an energy of unsurety of where to place your priorities or commitments or where to place your energy. But knowing that you have everything you need within yourself and that you're really a very abundant person someone very solid stable grounded reliable committed loyal and honest when you're in your highest energy you know where to place your priorities you know what you want you know where you feel the best and what brings you stability just enjoy the moment and really learn how to be yourself and love yourself and express yourself truly so you can bring those people into your life who are of the same caliber as you. There's also a need to understand where true value lies. And it's not in monetary things or earthly desires, but it's in within our hearts and our souls. Everything you need is within yourself have the courage and confidence to believe in yourself and to stand your ground in a stable energy. There may also be some guilt or shame or sadness, remorse going on in this situation. Maybe there was a third party situation going on here and maybe it caused you to question your worth as well. Maybe this other person was going after multiple things at once and placing you on the back burner and it caused you to question your worth but understand your worth and your true value and don't settle for anything less and there may be also some guilt or shame over the way you've acted in the past maybe possibly you were holding on too tightly to the situation and so you may have become a little bit overly needy or greedy or clingy you know and people may have misconstrued this as being materialistic in some way as well Maybe there has been a lot of energies of lack in your life in general that you have needed to overcome. 
This is a confusing one. Sorry if I'm not explaining it so well. So for your advice, we have sacral chakra, paint, sing, dance, live every day with passion and express your creativity and passion. Really get out and enjoy life with your friends and with yourself and really just go where you feel most comfortable. Leave behind any shame or guilt about what you truly want and just live every day to the fullest. Let what everyone else wants fall, fall away and believe what you want matters. So once again, yeah, don't be working on stuff just because everybody else thinks that you should and just because you are holding on to something that really you don't need. You are strong on your own. You don't need whatever it is that you're holding on to so tightly. Release it. Let it go. And believe what you really want matters. I recognize that I have chosen fear and I choose again. I choose love. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lenses of love. Obstacles are detours in the right direction. I witness the darkness and call on the light with my prayer. Thank you, universe, for guiding me to perceive this fear through the eyes of the teacher of love. And so, asking... Your angels, your God, your spirit guides, ancestors, whoever it is that you talk to, to ask for help. Spiritual help. Ask them for help to release your anxieties and fears and to be in a state of peace and love. To really be able to see the truth of the beauty that lies within yourself. Ask to be able to focus on the light and the love and to... Release anything holding you back. Don't hold back. Really, truly put your efforts towards building your abundance and your stability on your own. Knowing that every obstacle we face brings us growth and brings us lessons. And they really take us in the right direction in the long run. All of this stuff happens for a reason. To bring us to the place that we need to be in. So whether this person is your person or not, you know, work on yourself and work on your self-love and your stability in and of yourself. And that's the biggest advice for you going forward. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you so much for listening. If you have a comment you'd like to leave about it or if you would like to suggest a video, leave a comment for me. I'd love to hear it. Have a beautiful day or night whenever, wherever you're watching. Bye-bye.